He has won the 1858 Prize for Contemporary Southern Art, and you can see his work on display at the Gibbs Museum of Art through January. Let's welcome artist Bo Bartlett. It's great to have you. Hey, and I just adore your work. I, I think it really speaks to what, what I love about art and the way in which you express yourself. Uh, I'd like for you to tell our audiences kind of what, what the genre is of, of your particular work, but it's it's very realistic, but with mm -hmm. a surrealistic twist to it. Yeah, well, I, I grew up, uh, I'm from Columbus, Georgia, originally, and we, we live there now. And But when I was a kid growing up, we didn't know much about art. My family didn't know much about art. So the only art that I ever saw was the things that came into the house, um, in magazine covers or in magazines. So I knew the Saturday Evening Post with Norman Rockwell and um, Salvador Dali and Picasso and Andrew Wyeth had all been in Life and Look magazine. So, you know, that was my exposure to art. And so I was um, particularly drawn to that, that, those styles of art. Mm -hmm. And so I've sort of done an amalgamation of those different styles as I've, as I've learned more about art and matured. But, but this was the genesis of it. Yeah. And your work has also been featured on uh, movies and, and you've also worked in film as well. Uh, so tell us a bit more about some yes. of the other media that you do work in. Well, so, yeah, I, I, um, w when I was at school at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Art, this is the oldest art school in the country, um, very sort of steeped in naturalistic realism, I um, started having dreams that my paintings were moving. Okay. And uh, so I thought, well, wouldn't that be cool if you could have like moving pictures, you know? Yes. <laughs> and then I realized there's such a thing, you know, yeah. it's movies. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started to um, be more and more interested in film and video, and I went to NYU and uh, got a certificate in filmmaking and started making small films and shorts and documentaries. As, at, at the same time, I'm, you know, have my painting, painting career going. Well, in, in researching you and your work, I was just beyond delighted to see that you had worked on this particular documentary about the muse of artist Andrew Wyeth's uh, yes. work, and it was called the Helga Pictures. This is this is how I was introduced to it. Right. It was a, co a coffee table book that my mother just fell in love with and we've had in our family for so many years. And for it to come so full circle to sit with you here and you meeting her and knowing her and, and able to um, bring that work to life in, in that particular way, it just, it, it touched my heart in, in such a deep way. Thanks, yes. Um, well. Um, one of the reasons I moved to Philadelphia originally from Georgia was um, by way of Florence, Italy, was because I wanted to study with Andrew Wyeth. Goodness. So I, I um, reached out to him and he said at the time he wasn't taking students. Um, so I went and learned to paint in other places with Nelson Shanks, one of the great American portrait painters, and at the Pennsylvania Academy. But years later, once I got a successful career as a painter in Philadelphia, New York, Betsy Wyeth, uh, Andrew Wyeth's wife, reached out to me and invited me um, to come visit them in Chadsford, Pennsylvania. And so uh, as I was visiting them, uh, Betsy said, you know, I really want to make a film on Andrew Wyeth. Yeah. And, you know, I was young and hadn't made a feature film yet. And I was like, well, I'll help you with that. So um, I spent the next five years with the Wyeths all day, every day. Wow. And so it was both, we made a film at the time, uh, Snow Hill, which won several awards. And, um, but I was also able to, see how he worked and why he worked and and I really gleaned a lot from that by the time I was finished making the film I really just wanted to go straight back to painting again yes. but I've also kept uh, film going of documentaries and um, features as well yeah I think that's that's a wonderful expression you know just to, to further right. along uh, what, what you do on the canvas and speaking of which your work you, t you say is is grand, it is huge in scale. Yes, yes. Uh, why do you like painting in such a big scale? Well, scale is part of the idea. I mean, because, you know, we see we're bombarded with imagery, you know, on, on the social media or uh, on television, and we're just constantly bombarded. But, but to be able to stand in front of a large painting, a life-size painting, you're immersed in it, and your relationship to it is very different than, uh, it's more cinematic, mm -hmm. actually. You know, when you're in, in the theater and you have the projection coming from behind your head onto the screen, there's, you, your, your body uh, responds viscerally to that interaction. And so when you have a large painting, even though it's a still thing, it's not a, a moving film or video, mm -hmm. it's still, um, you're able to contemplate it and be in it in a different way than if you're just looking at a smaller object. That is so true. That is so true. Um, I also love the fact that uh, you bring 
your knowledge to the radio waves, but then you also share with our youth and, and people who are, are less advantaged yes, as well. Yes. And it's art for everyone. You know, um, there, there's a, a reason to um, a, to do anything. And, and when you once you gain some skills in whatever your medium is, you know, you, ha you have your, uh, you, you learn to paint or whatever it is, or learn to make a film, um, then you're just like, what are you gonna do with it? You know, so there, it's, it's really about what serves the whole, mm -hmm. you know, and you, you can just do things to just serve yourself and, you know, make a living. Or you can do things that maybe expand the, the, the circle and uh, reach out and have, um, you know, ripples. And so, um, and when it comes to uh, the radio show, I, I really love the interaction. You know, we have, uh, we're broadcast on OM radio here. Yeah and in Columbus, Georgia at the college radio station, WCUG, so, um, w and, uh, and other affiliates eventually. But right now, it's just a, a, an opportunity to tell stories, personal stories, because we all have our stories, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's really an opportunity to tell your story and, um, and allow others, invite others to, to tell their stories, because we all have our individual stories and it's so important to tell them yeah. and express yourself, whether that's in um, you know, music, or, or, or writing, or film, or, or painting, or whatever your right. your chosen medium is. Absolutely. Well, I think for our audiences here in Charleston, they would be doing themselves a favor by heading down to the Gibbs Museum of Art and seeing your exhibition, which is going on through January. So we still have a few more months to come yeah. and see your work. And I, I can't wait. I thank absolutely you. can't. I want to thank you so much, Bo, for joining us today. Thank you, Layla. Happy to be here. Thank you. We're back in two minutes.